There's word tonight that the son of Osama bin Laden is dead. Multiple news outlets citing U.S. officials as confirming the death of Hazma bin Laden, uh, but they are not saying how it happened or whether the U.S. was involved. Hazma bin Laden was considered an eventual successor to his father, who obviously masterminded the 9-11 terror attacks in 2001 and was killed by U.S. troops in 2011. Lucas Tomlinson has the breaking news tonight from the Pentagon. Good evening, Lucas. Good evening, Brett. The U.S. placed a $1 million bounty on the head of Hamza bin Laden in February. Details of his reported death remain a mystery. John Roberts asked the president about it earlier. Do you have any intelligence that bin Laden's son has been killed? Uh, I don't want to comment on it. I don't want to comment on that. Thank you very much, everybody. Hamza threatened revenge after Navy SEALs killed his father, al-Qaeda mastermind Osama bin Laden, in Pakistan in 2011. U.S. intelligence agencies viewed Hamza as an emerging leader of al-Qaeda who carried out the worst terrorist attack on American soil on September 11th, killing 3,000 people. After the attacks, Hamza and other al-Qaeda members fled to Iran. They were detained, but later let go. Over the years, Hamza released audio and video messages on the Internet, calling on supporters to launch attacks against the U.S. and allies around the world. Hamza is thought to be 30 years old. The U.S. government says he married the daughter of a senior al-Qaeda leader who was indicted by a federal grand jury for his role in the 1998 terrorist attacks against two U.S. embassies in Tanzania and Kenya. A video of Hamza's wedding was found in Osama bin Laden's compound by the SEALs in the Pakistan raid and released by the CIA two years ago. Other documents seized indicated bin Laden was grooming his son to replace him as leader of al-Qaeda. Navy SEALs killed another son, Khalid, during the raid in addition to his father. The CIA continues to hunt down the current leader of al-Qaeda, Ayman al-Zawahiri. And al-Qaeda remains a resilient terrorist group today in, in Afghanistan.